open SUDI. Now in this video, we are trying to complete the second part of practical number 2C, that is exception handling. It might be created in single video or the video length is very big, I will try to divide into two parts. So it's better that I will first of all decide that it will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we will be understanding about exception handling. And in the second part, we will understand how to create your own exception and how to throw that exception. So, what is exactly you mean by exceptions? See, there are three types of errors which may occur during the program. Creation, compilation, execution. What these three types of errors are? They are termed as syntax errors, identified and detected by the compiler. Until the time you are not resolving that error, the program can't be compiled, so program can't be executed. Second type of error is logical error. मतलब जाना था जापान पर पहुंच गए चीन, तो program compile भी हो गया, program execute भी हो गया, पर program ने desired output generate नहीं किया. Then they are termed as what your logical error. And third type of errors, they are termed as runtime errors or also called as exception. These are very dangerous because this will crash the program itself. So let's see practically how this particular exception looks and then we will try to go for uh, understanding how to go for handling those exception by using try, catch and final. So I'm creating a new console based application which in which I'm interested in showing you how to handle the exception. So I'm creating the console based application. I can just provide the project name as practical 2C part 1. Okay. So practical 2C part 1. And here I'm developing a small program which help us to understand about a exception handling. It's quite a simple program I'm interested in writing. I'm interested in creating first of all an array. So I declared one array named as x equal to new in. And in the brackets, I am interested in providing the elements like 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I am interested in writing a loop which will be uh, running from the first element up to the last element. So I provide the for loop by saying for int i equal to 0 till i is less than uh, or equal to I can say less than x dot length and providing i plus plus. Here I am interested in specifying by saying console dot right line or maybe write x of i. Waiting for a keystroke by providing console dot read key. So program is uh, compiled successfully, executed successfully and you will find the value of array x that is 10, 20, 30, 40. They are being displayed. The program is not generating any error at the time of compilation, any error at the time of execution. I just made a small change to show you what do you mean by runtime errors. I just provide over here less than equal to. And now if I try to run the program, you will find the program is been terminated along with a runtime exception named as index out of range exception. That an index was outside the bound, that is the boundary of an array. So this type of errors are termed as exception. They are the errors which may or may not occur during program execution. So can you please elaborate once again? Chalo yaar, we will try to just complete some small part in the program. Here I am interested in accepting two numbers and displaying the division of it. So I display the message to the user. First I declare the variable x, y and z. Then providing x equal to y equal to z equal to 0. All are being initialized with the value as 0. I am specifying the statement console dot write first number. Value has been accepted instead of variable by using x equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. Then again displaying the message by saying console dot write second number. Then using y equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. 
so x and y the values are been accepted from the user then providing z equal to x divided by y and displaying the output of z by saying console dot write line division plus z fine my program has been completed i run the program the program will be compiled successfully the program will be executed successfully if i am providing 10 and 2 so you'll find division is displayed as 5 the program is compiled successfully executed successfully but now if I try to provide the first number, okay, at a game. Now, what has been expected is the number. But what happened? A runtime error occurs. A format exception occurs and program is terminated wherever that exception occurs. So, there are situations where the exception may occur during the program because the program is also taking the input from the user also. So, program is also dependent on a lot of different tasks. For example, you are trying to connect to a database, but database server is not been available. Then again, over there, the exception will occur. <coughs> so in such situation, the program should not get terminated abruptly. That's the reason we are using the concept called as try, catch and final. So in exception handling, you will find try, catch and final. What is a try block? A try block is a block which consists of statements which may generate an exception. So, try block is the one which may generate an exception. So, the statements which you feel that may they might generate an exception, you try to add it inside a try block. Just for example, I found that these are the statements which may generate an exception. So, I am putting all these exceptions inside my try block. Try block is always followed by the catch. So, try block is what? Always followed by the catch. And inside the catch, you will provide which exception you would like to handle. Now, currently we are seen right now as a format exception. So, I am just specifying as format exception and object name as ex. And in the catch, I display the message as console.writeline ex.message. So, whatever the exception has been there, that will be displayed over here. I run the program. I am entering the statement as number as 10 and 2, no issues. As no exception occurs, the catch is not being executed. But whereas when I'm entering some invalid number, a format exception occurs. A format exception occurs. It is passed to the first catch. The first catch handles it and the program execution continues from the statement written after try catch. Yes, statement ko If an exception occurs in a try block, it is passed to the first catch. If a catch can handle it, then program execution continues from the next statement written after try catch. But if an exception occurs, which a catch can't handle it, then the exception has been passed to the runtime environment, CLR, common language runtime, which displays the error message and terminates the program, which was displaying the error message and terminating the program. So, now currently we are knowing that format exception has been handled by our catch. But if you want some more exception to be handled, you can add up multiple catches over here. So, a try block can be followed by the multiple catch. And here the exception which I would like to handle is divide by zero exception. Maybe I will be writing a small statement like console dot write line. Please attend school. Right. So, I run the program now. Here it asked me the first number. I am entering my first number. Here it asked me the second number. I am entering my second number as 0. Fine. Please attend school. Because second number cannot be 0. Na? A number cannot be divided by 0. So, if I run the program again, if I am providing my first number, some, then invalid number as second number, the exception has been handled. Right. Exception get handled depending on the catches. So, for every type of exception, we'll be providing a separate catch. Or if you want, you can do one thing. If you want a catch should handle all types of exception, then instead of providing multiple catches, you can just use a superclass of all exception named as exception. So, this catch exception is termed as a general catch, which will be handling all types of exception. So, such make a, ek bar dekh lenge. वापस रन कर दिया फर्स्ट नंबर डाल दिया मैंने 10 
सेकंड नंबर डाल दिया जीरो एक्सेप्शन इज बीन हैंडल अगेन आई हैड रन द प्रोग्राम आई हैड एंटर्ड माय फर्स्ट नंबर 10 सेकंड नंबर सम अल्फाबेट्स इट कैन नॉट बी कन्वर्टेड बट दिस एक्सेप्शन इज आल्सो बीन हैंडल राइट सो कैच एक्सेप्शन इज अ जनरल कैच व्हिच कैन हैंडल ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सेप्शन व्हिच मे ऑकर्स ड्यू टू द सी शार्प प्रोग्राम्स सर ये क्या नया बोला सी इज डॉट नेट डॉट नेट allows you with a feature called as cross language support that means if you develop a class library in delphi.net then you are allowed to use it inside your csharp.net or you develop some kind of library in csharp.net that are allowed to be used in vb.net also so it might be possible i am using some kind of function library which is not developed in csharp then this exception will not be possible for them to go for handling it so at that time we write only catch what do we write only catch maybe i am providing contact admin now if i run the program you will find these exceptions are also been handled but the problem is what this catch can handle all types of exception which occurs in a c sharp program also as well as outside the c sharp program also so it can handle all types of exception but it does not know what it is handling catch exception mein kaisa tha ex dot message karke hum log identify karte the ki ye kaun sa type ka exception handle kiya hua hai par ye catch mein kaun sa type ka exception handle kiya hua samajh mein aata nahi so what we understood a try block can be followed by a single catch or it can be followed by multiple catches also right i had provided one catch exception as well as i am providing one format exception तो कैच एक्सेप्शन दे दिया और क्या दे दिया मैंने फॉर्मेट एक्सेप्शन भी दे दिया और लिख दिया मैंने कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन मे बी आई एम सेइंग इन वैलिड फॉर्मेट और मे बी आई एम डिस्प्लेइंग द मैसेज दैट प्लीज प्रोवाइड द प्रॉपर नंबर नो इफ आई ट्राई टू रन द प्रोग्राम यू विल फाइंड दैट द कंपाइलेशन एरर इज गेटिंग ऑकर्ड सो व्हेन यू आर यूजिंग मल्टीपल कैचेस प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट अ सब क्लास विल कम फर्स्ट एंड देन अ सुपर क्लास सो दिस कैच एक्सेप्शन मस्ट बी द लास्ट कैच this catch exception must be the last catch because again i am telling you the important statement if a exception occurs in a try block it is been passed to the first catch if first catch can't handle it it will go to the second catch if second catch can't handle it it will go to the third catch if none of the catch can handle it it will go to the cla which throws the exception terminates the program right so agar main catch exception ko first catch rakh diya then what will happen it will never go to the second catch why because this is the super class na so it can handle all types of exception that's the reason if you are using multiple catches please remember that catch exception has to be the last catch block so again i'm telling you the simple statement if a exception occurs in a try block it is passed to the catch from the first catch to second second catch to third if none of the catch can handle it it is passed to the clr If a catch can handle the exception, ध्यान दो रे बाबा। If a catch can handle the exception, then the program execution continues from the statement written after try catch. Then the program execution continues from the statement written after try catch, right? तो अभी मुझे थोड़ा सा देखना है कि ये try समझ में आ गया, catch समझ में आ गया, फिर और एक statement मैंने बताया था यहाँ पे finally. Then what is this particular finally? so finally block is used when you want certain statement to be executed always certain statement to be used or executed what we can say always what do you mean by it? it means if an exception occurs or not occurs if it is handled or not handled तो एक्सेप्शन ऑकर हुआ क्या नहीं हुआ क्या हैंडल हुआ क्या नहीं हुआ क्या सभी सिचुएशन में अगर आपको कोई सर्टन सेट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट को एग्जीक्यूट करना है तो आप लिखते हो उसको कहां पर अब फाइनली ब्लॉक में लिखते सो वॉट एवर द स्टेटमेंट विच यू राइट इट इन फाइनल ब्लॉक दे आर बीन ऑलवेज एग्जीक्यूटेड इफ द एक्सेप्शन ऑकर देन ऑल्सो दे आर एग्जीक्यूटेड 
if the exception does not occur then also they are executed if the exception is handled then also they are executed and if the exception is not handled then also these statements are executed for example if i am acquiring some resource from internet fine then uh, i need to go for releasing the resource whether a program has been successfully executed or unsuccessfully executed the resource should be released then that code i will be writing it inside a finally so in any circumstances the code is always executed and that's the beauty of the finally block so in this video we had seen what is the try block we had seen what is the catch we had seen the concept of multiple catches also we had seen the concept of finally now we need to work acha please remember that if you are using catch ex exception na agar aapne general exception dal diya exception wala to yaad rakho finally likho na likho farak nahi padta रीजन क्या वेन यू आर राइटिंग कैच एक्सेप्शन द एक्सेप्शन इज ऑलवेज हैंडल्ड इफ द एक्सेप्शन इज ऑलवेज हैंडल्ड देन वॉट द नीड ऑफ राइटिंग द फाइनली राइट बिकॉज द सिचुएशन लाइक एक्सेप्शन ऑकर्ड बट नॉट हैंडल्ड एट दैट टाइम फाइनली द स्टेटमेंट आर गोइंग टू बी क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस इज एवरीथिंग विच वी एड लर्ड इन दिस वीडियो एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अवर ओन एक्सेप्शन एंड हाउ टू थ्रो अवर exception so please uh, subscribe to our channel ko next video ko barabar se dekho thanks a lot